Congrats on the, on the pitch. So we, we, we have our last one. And uh, with him, we had two options. Um, either we asked him to do some rollerblades on stage, or, uh, or he went, or he's coming to uh, pitch his new startup. So let's call on stage Ty Chris for on off up. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Five minutes. Ready? <laughs> Go. Thank you. So first of all, I wanted to say that I'm really proud to be here and be able to present my company and our technology. Before to start, I just wanted to share with you a sentence that I try to follow every day and I, I give to my team. Very simple, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And it's exactly what we try to do today in the telecom to reinvent the user experience in telecom. So of course, we live in a world completely crazy with the evolution of the, you know, the, the connectivity, everything is connected, you know, our phone, our you know, tablet, our watches, and everything is in the cloud, right? You know, even the mail, the music, everything in the cloud. And it's been changing completely our life. You know, now we take a new usage, you know, with uh, the Uber car, the Airbnb, but even though there are so many evolution, there is one thing that didn't change for almost 30 years. And actually that thing is in telecom. And actually is the thing you guys are using every day, the most private thing in your pocket didn't change for 30 years. It's a shame. What is it? Incredibly simple is the SIM card and the mobile phone numbers. If you think about it, the mobile phone number are locked inside your SIM card and you cannot take it away. And that didn't change for 30 years. Everything is in the cloud. Why mobile phone number could not be in the cloud? You know, if you, well, you know, your email are, are in the cloud. When you have no battery or someone stole your phone, you still can have access to your emails on someone else's phone. But it's not the same with your mobile number. If someone steals your phone, you're screwed. If you travel to another country, you still can connect to the Wi-Fi and get your email because they are in the cloud, but not the mobile number. The mobile number, if you travel in another country, you are paying roaming because you have an American SIM card or French SIM card in Brazil, and that's it. So my team and myself decided to reinvent the use case in the mobile phone number and create a new standard in telecom that we will call the cloud number. So what is the cloud number? Let me show you. Incredibly simple. The user one, instead of calling a mobile number that is locked in the user two, is actually calling a number that is actually located in the cloud. But it's not only the number, it's the whole phone that is in the cloud. The, the calls, the SMS, the voicemail, the contact, it's like an iPhone in the cloud. So actually, because the, you call the cloud, the cloud after that can connect to any network or to any SIM card. You can change the SIM card every second. You're still reachable on the same number. So use cases are incredible. For example, because numbers are in the cloud, I can have as many numbers as I want. Maybe I'm the type of guy that wants I don't know, three numbers, one for my girlfriend, one for my business, and one for my family. Or maybe, you know, I, I can have numbers from any country. I can have a French number when I'm in France, an American number when I'm here in America, or maybe a Brazilian number just to show off. And you don't have to wait in the line in the store to buy, you know, like a SIM card, wait two hours to have activated. Now, you just download our mobile application Instantly, one click, you have a number, and it's activated. Instantly, you can call people, people can call you. You can text people, people can text you. You have a voicemail on that number in one click, but you can erase the number in one click. And you still use the antenna of the network. It's not VOIP call, you know? Even though we are bringing a VOIP service even better for the user experience, if you use the GSM network, the voice quality will be perfect. And when you're on the line with someone, even you have no internet connection, doesn't matter. It's great. So the use cases are incredible. You can have a temporary number just for five minutes, a business number. For example, for a business number, if you pay two monthly plan, 50 bucks and 50 bucks, AT&T every reason, but you don't want to lose your number because you have your number for, for 10 years, you still can cancel one of the monthly plans, save 50 bucks, and port the number in our mobile app. You just save 50 bucks and you don't have to have two phones to charge or two phones in your pocket. And still, you can use exactly normal with even more feature. You can have travel number when you're in France or in Brazil. I mean, it's just giving you open, it's just crazy. So let's speak about the company. 
we started developing the company. And yeah, one thing I forgot, of course, it's just crazy in the market. 2.2 billion users with dual SIM active user in the world is just incredible market. So to talk about the company, we uh, started developing in March 2014. We have 30 of incredible, passionate, and magic developers that you know work every day to build that mobile app. We've raised until now 3.5 million dollars, and our mobile app is called On Off. We've launched just three months ago a test beta version, first of App Store, Google Play, and raised you know like you know about. 160,000 users, okay, I've read a mobile. You, you, thank you. It's the end, anyway. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted just to say to finish that, yeah, we think the, thank you very much. Sorry about this. It's great. Time was over. It was the end. Two minutes, questions? Um, so the f two things come to mind, first of all. There, there was an, a, another startup doing kind of disposable phone numbers um, for kind of to be applied towards things like dating applications where people didn't want to give their own phone numbers. This was before some of the dating apps themselves started masking mm -hmm. numbers using vo VOIP. The other thing that, that struck me was there were some aspects of Google Voice with this in terms of being able to select phone numbers and have them kind of be mm -hmm. virtual phone numbers from, from elsewhere than tying back into your cell phone. Now, did I get it correctly that you need kind of your app to, to initiate calls, or can you do it from your, your, your phone dialer and standard? And it's, everything is inside the app. That's why, you okay. know, like uh, we, we bring like a total virtual phone inside the cloud so you can dial from the app even though it's using the GSM because basically when you dial from the app, it creates an outgoing call from your SIM card, you know, and it changes in the cloud, in the antenna, the, actually the numbers. And uh, you can, people can call you, you can text people even if the people don't have the app. So it gives a full experience on that. So, so in a way, Skype also becomes, you know, with their telephony features, becomes a partial component. Not actually. This is something we bring a user experience that Skype cannot do. For, first of all, um, because of our technology, we can own mobile numbers. Skype legally cannot own mobile numbers. So in, in America, of course, there is no difference between mobile and, fa and fixed line, but in every other country, it's different. So for example, when you use Skype, you can call people with the internet and show your real number that appear. But if that person call you back, it doesn't come back to Skype. It comes back to the SIM card that can be off. With our technology, since the number is ours, we own the numbers and they are in the cloud, you can use, for example, VOIP on a hotel, call someone, and that person still can text you back and call you back, which Skype cannot do. Um, I think that you should start by telling about your traction and how many users you have because um, the story the story is great but like it would, it would have been it would have been better if we heard that first because basically I think the panel and I observed them like people were trying to figure out is this interesting or not I think it's interesting but what I'm struggling with is I'm trying to understand what's my number one use case I think the like what do you think is the number one use case here I like think are, I distant think are, number one. I think there are, no, there are three main use cases. Of course, you know, people want a number just for one night or whatever, you know, temporary number just like that. You have so the burner app does that. Kind of that. But uh, the, the business number is huge because you can port your number in our system. So for every business company, when you see, for example, small company, they cannot afford to buy a, to buy a monthly plan for their users. All the, the small business, they use, the people use their, um, how to say, their private phone to come at work. So now in our platform, you can buy group of number for my, for my uh, worker. I can buy, for example, 20 number for my worker. I just put their email, they receive the number, and I can uh, transfer the number for every user. This is a huge use case for us. So business and, calls. Yeah, this is a lot. But also, you know, the user, they just it, want a phone. <laughs> that would be the last use case. All right. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, all of you.